Hey, it's Yazi. It's been a really exciting week so far. A lot of cards have been announced. Not the Guardian cards that I kind of want, and not the, um, what's the other one? The Ninja cards, but I don't think anyone really cares about Ninja too much. They haven't been announced, but a lot of cards have been announced. So today I want to have a look at Dorothea Ironsong, which is our first warrior leader. She was leaked pretty early. Well, not leaked. She was announced pretty early within um, the card game. So I feel like everyone has a general idea of what she does. So Dorothea Ironsong. It's a 4 intellect, 40 health warrior hero with the following effect. Once per turn, effect. When your weapon attack hits, you may attack an additional time with that weapon this turn. So straight off the bat, everyone could tell that this hero was going to be a weapon-based hero. Weren't sure if it was going to be a defensive kind of leader or an aggressive kind of leader, but with the next cards, we'll be able to tell you that. Dawnblade is her weapon of choice. It's a very strong weapon, and it's something that's going to put a lot of fear into a lot of plays once it starts getting rolling. So it costs one to attack, and it has the following effect. If Dawnblade hits, and it's the second time it has hit this turn, Put a 1 attack counter on Dawnblade. At the beginning of your end phase, if Dawnblade did not hit this turn, remove all 1 attack counters from Dawnblade. So, basically this leader, if you're not blocking the weapon attacks, this thing's going to start rolling probably about 5 attack most turns. And seeing as the, the hero... If it hit the first time, it can attack again. It doesn't count as having go again, but you still do need an extra action point for that. Dorothea's first specialization card is a two pitch, one cost, three defense warrior attack reaction with the following effect. Target weapon gains one attack. Reprise, if the defending hero has defended with a card from their hand, this chain link, search your deck for an attack reaction card Banish it face up, then shuffle your deck. You may play it this chain link. So not is this only just a draw one, it's also a boost on your weapon as well. It does only pitch for two, but I feel like that's not going to be an issue within Warrior, as I feel like most of the Warrior cards are going to be defense reaction cards and attack reaction cards as well. Now, I'm not sure what the other benefit of keeping the card banished will be, but there will have to be a reason why that would be a good thing just to keep it banished rather than playing it. And it looks like the main attack reaction card you'll be looking to grab is Biting Blade. It's a one pitch, two cost, three defense warrior reaction card with the following effect. Target weapon gains three attack. Reprise, if the defending hero has defended with a card from their hand this chain link, weapons you control gain one attack until the end of the turn. So on its own, with these two cards by themselves, that's plussing your attacks for attack this turn. And that's not putting into the fact with Reprise on Biting Blade as well, which is also an extra one. It's going to be very difficult to defend all these warrior attacks, as all these attack as all these warrior attack reaction cards are just going to be put on top of any defense you put up against them. The next card that I want to look at is a very generic card, but I feel like it's something that will be slotted into a lot of decks once the decks start coming out. Driving Blade is a 3 pitch, 2 cost, 3 defense warrior action card with the following effect. Your next weapon attack this turn gains 1 attack and go again while this card also has go again. The main reason why I wanted to bring this one into light is because the warrior weapon on its own doesn't have go again. So you'll need to be able to attack twice with it to get its full effect off your leader. And you won't be able to do that if your entire turn stops on that point. Just note how the leader's effect doesn't state your weapon gains go again. It clearly states that your weapon can attack again this turn. The last Dorothea specialization card is Steel Blade Supremacy. It's a one pitch, one cost, three defense warrior action with the following effect. Until the end of your turn, target weapon gains two attack and whenever this weapon hits, draw one card. And then it also has go again as well. This would have been a lot better in my opinion if it was a reaction card, but that could have been a little bit too overpowered. But nevertheless, it has the potential to draw two cards, and it also has the potential to give you four extra attack. The next card I want to look at is Refraction Bolters. 
It's, I think, the first equipment that I've mentioned on this channel so far. And it's a pretty good one for this leader. It's a warrior equipment for your legs, and it has one defense with the following effect. When your weapon attack hits, you may destroy your fraction bolters, and if you do, the attack gains go again. So this is what's going to allow your, your attack, for your weapon attack, to actually hit again, because usually if a card doesn't have go again, it will just end your turn, or if you had an extra action point, you can use that for your weapon. One other warrior card that I really wanted to look at is Steel Blade Shunt. It's a one pitch, one cost, six defense, warrior defense reaction card with the following effect. If Steel Blade Shunt defends a weapon attack, deal one damage to the attacking hero. Now this seemed like it was been really strong during the demo decks where everyone just had 20 health. Um, or when you play limited formats, this will be very strong. But as far as this card being in the standard format, it may not fare up just as much. It does defend for six for only one resource, but I feel like the dealing one damage to the hero won't be too strong. It will help, but there's 40 health there that you need to push through. I only really see this being really strong once your opponent is like on one health, but even still, I think once you get to that point, I don't think you'd be swinging with your war your weapons at all. That's it for the video, guys. I know it was a real quick one. Follow the Flesh and Blood fan page on Facebook and also the Flesh and Blood official page on Facebook as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.